So this is a little fun training game that you can play with your dog. I like to quiz my students on this occasionally. And that is, I have a handful of cookies in this hand, and I have my dog's dumbbell in this hand. I'm gonna give her the option to choose one. Okay. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. Good. I can even use the cookies a little bit to proof the dog. Okay, so I can make the cookies very enticing. Yes, good girl, super good for you. Oops, see, want those, want those? Yes, what that demonstrates to me is that my dog knows the way to get the treats is to get this. This works really well for dogs who need to build some value for the dumbbell. My dogs will keep grabbing that dumbbell, yes, because she knows that it's worth something to me. So although I work very hard to make my dogs like the dumbbell just for itself, I also like the fact that they understand that this thing has value. Bringing it to me has a lot of value, right? So we make it fun. Notice that I'm not even giving her a command. Yes, I'm letting her figure it out on her own. So you may have to be patient initially with your dog and prompt them a little bit in the beginning till they understand what you want. This is also a good game for dogs who love their dumbbell. Maybe they might be a little bit more possessive about it. So they want to get it, but they don't necessarily want to bring it to you. This game also builds value for exchanging it with something that you have that they want. You want those? Yes, good girl. Want that? Yes, good girl, good job. Good girl, good. Oh, go get that one. Go ahead. Good girl. Do you want that? Yes, good girl. Good. Yes, good girl. Good job. That. Yes, good girl. Super cute. Super cute. Remember that you do have to have a dog who understands taking the dumbbell before you can play these games with them. But once they understand it, it's a great way for building up that value. You, we use it pretty early in the training process, as soon as our dogs have learned to take the dumbbell. This is literally the first time I'm playing this game with my puppy. She's uh, four months old, soon, <laughs> and she loves the dumbbell, and she likes to offer behaviors, but she hasn't really played this game yet. So let's see how it goes. Do you want those? Do you want those? Do you want those cookies? I know they're good cookies. Yes, good girl, super good. So I had to prompt her a little bit. She was throwing some other behaviors at me. Good girl. Yes, good girl. So I had to make the cookies a little less visible at first. Yes, good girl. Whoops. Yeah. Yes, super good. Super good for you. Wow. Come here. Pop up. Hey, that's a chance. Pop up. Lena. Yes, super good girl. <laughs> 
good girl. Remember, shaping games like this are very important to be patient, right? Especially we don't want her to get in the habit of using her feet. Yes. The last thing I shaped her to do was do a paw touch. Yes. To my hand. So that's why that's kind of on her mind and it's within the things that she's throwing at me at the moment. Yes. Good girl. those? I do, I want them, huh? I do, I want them. Do you know how you get them? Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. Super duper kudos, super duper for you. Come here. Yeah, you're so silly. All right. So with a puppy, obviously, I don't expect quite the level of performance that I had with the other dogs. But she did start to think that this was a really fun game, and we did start to weed out some of the other behaviors. Okay, So we'll play that game every day for a few days, and she'll really get the hang of it. 